This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News this morning in high definition. 621 and healthy living starts with what is in your grocery cart. Tips to, tips to kick trans fats to the curb coming up next. Okay, Anthony, thank you. The USDA now demanding that trans fats be eliminated from products in all U.S. grocery stores within three years. And while many items out there still contain it, Dr. Felicia Stuller joins us this morning with some tips on how to fill a healthy grocery cart. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Great to see you. Great to be here. You've got some yummy things here. Um, also, let's mention, too, we know you from TV, from TLC's uh, Honey, We're Killing the Kids, mm -hmm. which was a great show. It's a lot of fun. Enjoyed that. <laughs> You're also writing books and all kinds of good stuff going on. What's your latest book here? So my book is called, um, gee, what is my latest book? I can't even think I had a brain fart there. Living Skinny and Fat Jeans, The Healthy Way to Lose Weight and Feel Great. All right. In <laughs> book stands, in book stands now. And tell us what we need to learn here today yes. about we're trying to avoid trans fats. Yes. Why, first of all? So the thing is, there's this little loophole that was going on. In around 2006, the FDA said they wanted trans fat labeling on food. So therefore, food manufacturers went, oh, well, mm -hmm. we have to identify it. We need to try to minimize it. So so the loophole was that if it had 0.6 grams of trans fat, you could put zero grams of trans fat on the label. So what they realized is that we really don't want to have that in our diet. The reason is it's man-made and our body doesn't break it down. Mm -hmm. So that's really the issue. So it was created as a way of trying to extend shelf life in food. And then we realized, well, hey, you know, that's contributed to heart disease and higher cholesterol levels. So get back to nature eat food closer to the way it's found in nature and that's what i really want to talk about here you know butter was vilified a long time ago butter mm -hmm. is i hate to say back but it's okay and then something else that was a was really like a demon many years ago it was something called uh, palm fruit oil. Mm -hmm. People associated palm kernel oil with the movie theater popcorn. But what's nice about it, it's in so many spreads already. It's it's cardioprotective, it's neuroprotective. The reason why it's got this beautiful orange color is because it has beta carotene and it's nature's richest source of tocotrienols, which is vitamin E. So again, it's a great way to get a good free oil and it's in foods like Nutella and uh -huh. it's already out there. And what's nice is that it's got a buttery texture and again, and uh, it can be substituted in for a lot of other oils and foods. It's got a neutral flavor profile. So Love I really cooking. like that. Mm -hmm. So then, you know.